Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I have the unboxing and hands-on review of the Azul Link PC Multifunctional Remote Control, and also a look at the updated Azul Access Plus stick, which is now more powerful, and it has some extra features compared to the one that I did a couple months ago. I did a video for it, but in this video, I'm going to focus on the remote control because this is the new product from Azul. Uh, keep in mind, this video is being sponsored by Azul. They send this, these products to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So thanks to Azul. Now, first of all, in the box, you got the IR blaster. You're gonna use that to hook it up to your PC or console or anything like that. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, you need to read these instructions because uh, the remote control actually has a lot of features that are like multifunctional buttons and like to pair or to make the controller learn some extra functions. You're going to have to read the instruction manuals. If you don't read the instruction manuals, it's going to be a little bit hard to understand what you're doing with the stick or to even... Uh, use the this remote control at its full potential so i recommend reading the instruction manuals so of course you got the ir blaster this right here you're going to use it to hook it up to a pc you can hook it up to an android device you can hook it up to android tv if you have as well um, I also connect this device to uh, my PS4 and also Xbox One, and it worked perfectly. This uh, um, both console ac actually recognize the keyboard. Now here, of course, you got a QWERTY keyboard, which has all the keys necessary to type uh, for. And just like you would find on a regular keyboard, they're all here cramped up in this small remote. Then on the other side. You have the main buttons. A lot of these buttons, like I said, are gonna have like multi functions, but this is the Windows button, which is not un unmistakable. You got the microphone button, because it also has a microphone. Uh, you have some buttons here, which uh, resembles like the mouse. And this right here is basically like a mouse pad right here. And you got the right, right mouse click and the left mouse click. Uh, you also have like multi function, uh, multimedia buttons up and down you can use it for volume um, depending on the device you also connect this it might function differently as well um, also you have the on-screen button so if you need to see the uh, the keyboard on in the screen you're gonna click that keyboard and of course this right here is for ai and 2.4 you could change this to from ir to 2.4 gigahertz um, also, you got uh, light up. So these keys can actually be light up if you're in the dark. Look at that. They light up pretty good. Look how bright they look. And we're here um, on the bright side. So if we go into the dark, this is going to be very, very bright. Um, and also on the other side, if you tap twice, you actually activate the other side. So if you type tap once, you activate one side. If you act uh, um, tap on it twice, you activate the other side, which is the keyboard. And it also works pretty good here on the video. You can't notice it that much. But if you're in the dark, believe me, guys, it's going to be very, very visible. A lot better. Like you see there, it looks a lot better when I cover it and look at it a little bit more in the dark. So yes, it looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. Also, this works with um, double A, no, triple A batteries. And uh, luckily it does come with a triple A batteries. You don't really have to go ahead and buy some. So that's a good thing that Azul actually included uh, two triple A batteries. The batteries, they last, I've been using this thing device and I think, I think it lasts over 10 hours. I live over 10 hours because I'm still using the device and it still hasn't run out at all. Another thing to keep in mind, um, even though they do light up the keyboard, it turns off automatically as well after 10 seconds without using it. Now let's talk about a little bit here about the Azul Access Plus PC stick. Uh, like you see right here, everything, all the ports are going to be very similar to the other one that I have. It has a two USB ports this time around. Uh, the other one that I did before only had one. This one has two, one 2.0, another 3.0. Um, I'm going to use this right here, of course, to plug in the IR blaster. Um, also, to keep in mind, this one is more powerful than the other one because it has a the quad-core Intel Cherry Trail 
um, processor with uh, 1.4 gigahertz. It also has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the other one had actually two gigabytes of RAM, uh, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. It also has an SD card port, which you can actually um, put up to 128 gigabytes. Um, also, dual band 2.4 and 5.0 5 gigahertz. And that's it. It has your Windows 10 and it actually goes for around $159. And you can also bundle it with the, this Logitech 400 keyboard, which is a very good deal for $175. Uh, keep in mind, I'm going to leave links for these products in my description for Amazon. And I'm also going to leave a link for the Azul website where you can choose from different kind of bundles when it comes to the stick with the uh, keyboard or with the remote control or the remote control with another the desktop plus the PC that I did as well uh, there's a lot of bundles available on the Azul website so I'm gonna leave both links in my description so you guys can go ahead and try either one and read a little bit more into it now let's go and share with you guys the things you could do with the link PC remote control uh, first of all I'm gonna be using this with the access plus PC stick that I just show in this video uh, but keep in mind you can hook it up to any PC out there in the market and including Android TV as well now another thing to keep in mind is that this remote control actually has um, gyroscope in it so that means that you can use the remote control like a wand you can move around the remote control and that's how you see here on the screen that I'm, I'm moving the cursor of the mouse and that's because as I'm moving the remote control, it's I'm moving where I want the cursor to be. So uh, of course it works pretty good. I don't have any problem whatsoever. Um, the good thing about this is that it also has the right click and the left click that you would find on a mouse. That way, that means that you will be able to do every function that you do on a mouse with this stick, and including the keyboard. Of course, the keyboard works perfectly good. Like I said before, it also lights up when you need to, uh, if you're working on the dark place or if you're in the living room or something like that, it will light up so you won't have any problems looking at the buttons. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that if you're used, like myself, I'm very used to typing on glass keyboards or, or keyboards on the screen, um, it's going to take a little bit time to get used to this keyboard because you actually have to physically press every button. Every button is a little bit stiff uh, you're gonna have to actually you know go through the process of pressing the buttons at first you won't be able to type as fast as you type on the keyboard on the screen because you're actually dealing with physical buttons here but other than that once you get used to the feel of the buttons you're not gonna have any problems typing other than that I don't have any problems here when it comes to um, doing all the functions you can do with a mouse or with a pointer at all of course, you can move files around, you can open Cortana. Another thing to keep in mind, if you are a Skype user and you also use like Hangouts voice, uh, you can also use the button, the microphone button to actually talk to it and do your conversation like that as well. Now, of course, I did test it with my smart TV as well. Uh, if your smart TV has a internet browser like my TV, you're going to have no problem whatsoever using this keyboard. Just make sure you just hook up the RF receiver to the TV on an available USB port. And that's it. You will be able to use this keyboard and the mouse function with the browser. Depending, of course, it also depends on the TV that you have. Now, on the functions for the channels, and power and all that I was having a little bit problems controlling like the channels and all that of the TV uh, but you can also make the this controller actually learn some functions that the remote control has and though for those instructions those are in the menu you would actually have to read the menu to learn to make the controller learn some functions that you want it to do while you're using on the TV or something like that 
I also did hook it up to the consoles like the Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 like you see here on the video It works perfectly good as well Like you see with the touchpad you can use it to move forward or move back in the on the screen uh, You can also type respond to people by typing using the QWERTY keyboard on the remote control No problem whatsoever, but of course just keep in mind This is more meant for a like it works a lot better on a PC environment than a console environment console you can only do like navigate around and just type and reply to messages other than that i wouldn't use it for any more than that so guys that's it for this video this was a hands-on look of the link pc multifunctional remote control which is $29.99 i'm gonna leave link in my descriptions and remember there are also lots of bundles available at the azul website which i'm also gonna leave a link in my description and i also got to show you guys the a new azul access plus pc stick which is way more powerful now and it has one extra usb port which is very well welcomed so guys thanks for watching my video let me know what you guys think about this device like i said hit the links in the bottom so you guys can read a little bit more into it and also if you want to buy it you can purchase it from there too thanks for watching guys till next time